Hey everybody, welcome to my iPad. Okay, so I've shown Oanda for uh, FX Trader for uh, your desktop, namely my Mac. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at, I'm just going to probably try to go through uh, the FX uh, Trader. Now, uh, when you sign in to FX Trader, uh, which is the obviously the software for from Oanda, the nice thing is that you can, as you log in, you can log in to a practice account. So you can see the um, funding that I have supposedly in the top left of 100 grand Canadian. And then um, when you log in, you can also log in to your real account uh, as well. So it's a nice separation between the two. So hopefully you've kind of gone through or seen that previous video on the FX trader for desktop but now we're gonna take a look and it looks I've never I, I've done a video of this a while back but uh, hopefully this will show you the advantages of being on these type of devices with the iOS uh, there, there seems to be more functionality with uh, the mobile edition versus the uh, desktop uh, edition and don't forget, we're going to take a look at the um, automation, the API part of uh, Oanda. So I am in the process or will be in the process to check out their Python connection uh, using their API. And I'm hoping I can get that working in the next few days. And uh, once I get that running, I'll definitely do a video on it. So keep your eyes open. So instead of me blabbing here, let's take a look at what we have here. So the, the more important thing I, I have stressed over the last little bit is your, your selection of assets that you, you can trade within Oanda. It's not as vast as I'd like, like it. I'm not going to go into uh, what they are, but obviously you can see some commodities, some stock indices globally. Um, and uh, it's it's not a bad deal. Uh, so you know, uh, I'm pretty happy about it. If you're just starting out, like in my case for the automation component, uh, it's obviously not bad. You get all the liquid assets that I've covered in the last video. Uh, so obviously here we can set up uh, our trades. Uh, we've got our orders, positions, and activity. Uh, so, you know, it's it's a basic app, but it's pretty sufficient. We obviously have our news here at the left. Um, again, I can def it's nicely integrated compared to other the the uh, FX trader on the desktop. So, important stuff from a, a quick high level. Uh, so let's see. Now, this is the important one, the economic uh, calendar. Obviously, I am in um, the uh, November here, November 29th. Let's see what's going on for tomorrow. Retail sales, um, unemployment change, rate change. This is really important because these are the events that will drive the markets both globally as well as um, uh, you know locally to wherever you are so you can see here we're now looking at December blah 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 pretty cool um, so this is really important so I'm hoping we get access to that through the API if not I do know I can get that through the IQ feed so uh, let's play around with a potential trade here shan't we so let's say I'm going to do, uh, we got an uh, entry order, uh, we can do a market order, um, we can apply stop loss, trailing stop, or a lower bound. Um, so we have an entry order, expiry one week. Um, so let's just do a simple market order. So we'll just keep a default. Uh, what are we doing here? Euro versus the US dollar. And then there's the automatic conversion. Now you'll see here on the lower left here, it, it's in the pips again. I've already covered that. But uh, I guess I, okay, so units, we wanna buy. 
Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Submit. You must take units more than zero, no problem. Okay, units. How do I enter that? Okay, so I'm gonna say, I don't know, five units. Okay, so we're gonna submit. So we're gonna confirm that, yes. So there you go, we made our first uh, practice trade. So, okay, so that's cool. Let's see our orders. So we've got here our, um, obviously our position, our orders, uh, position there. Uh, so we're already longing. We're doing wonderful here. So, uh, hey, why not? We're, we're, we're just playing around, as you know. So let's say I'm gonna close the trade. Okay, closing the trade. So it didn't even make a dent in our, oh, there we go. So order, position, activity. Okay, so I guess we don't get access to our, to our P&L. Somewhere the P&L's gotta be somewhere, profit and loss I'm talking about. Maybe it's not enough, but um, all right. So, you know, just for kicks, it's it's not a bad little app, basic, but good enough. All right, so that's the current version of the Oanda uh, Trader. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, let's take a look at the uh, chart in here. I didn't look at that, no. Economic indicator, no. I know that there is charting in here somewhere. Let's see, I want, uh, well, it doesn't matter, but I just want to show you the basics of it. But hopefully this will uh, help you out and uh, give you a better perspective of Oanda for beginners trading just for kicks, it's fun. All right, so there you go. And have a good day. Later.